Hello and welcome to a new video from Ko Chang in Thailand. We just arrived at a temple and yeah, today we're going to visit this temple, going to see a big white Buddha and what else we can find on the road. It's the first. So oh, this is like a fortune telling. It's the number one. <laughs> oh, and number one means where we can see what it means. For me? <laughs> I don't know how to say. <laughs> okay. There we go. Number 23. Michael Jordan. This number of Michael Jordan. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, please come. Not like this. Bamu, yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. So now we check out what does number one and number 23 mean. Oh, they have an English translation. You would often get plenty of fortune, success in trade and make any wish come true. Whoa. If you're ill, you'll completely get well. If you're involved in a lawsuit, you surely win the case. Whoa! <laughs> so that is really a lucky number. Every day is a lucky day. Sadly, the main temple is not open today, but we can take a look from outside. So beautiful. So this this temple is from 1956. What? What Salafet? and some crab and the background a beautiful temple so a little motorbike ride later we're at this place and I will show you some pictures right now what we saw on Google and what we expected to see so yeah, you see the pictures and now we go upstairs and show you what is actually there so this is the White Buddha viewpoint, but right now it's only a viewpoint because the White Buddha is gone. What happened? Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good view. So we are here at our secret spot. I wouldn't call it beautiful, but it's private. If you ever wondered about what happens to your garbage when you throw it in the ocean, it ends up here. Yeah. What's that? Is that Louis Vuitton? No. They don't give a fuck. And here we are back in the same restaurant as yesterday. Going to eat some pad thai, some delicious pad thai with chicken, and a glass noodle salad with chicken and shrimp, shrimp. and two coconuts. We are exploring this resort a little bit, and as you can see, they have pretty old bungalow huts without furniture. So I I think they are too old to rent to anyone, right? The hand. The hand. Which means Susuna Krab, which is Thai for keep fighting. Yeah. Most bungalows are pretty broken. This one has a tower. Oh, well, everything is pretty damaged. But if you wake up here, that's a pretty nice view. There was a storm a few years ago, so this was all sand. And during the storm, all the sand got washed, washed away and, and leave this area only with stones. Over there you still have some beach, but right here it's gone. A lot. What a shame, it's such a private area. This one even has glass windows. But this one seems to be in a better condition. They even had electricity. <laughs> How many are here? Number 10, oh, a lot. And of course, no one cleans, cleans it up here. Oil, bottles, everything. Holy crap. You can take care. <laughs> I don't trust this bungalow. So we, we talked with the owner a little bit and she told us during the last big storm, they found trash from every country from Southeast Asia. Beer bottles from Vietnam, from Cambodia. So I think this was a building for taking a shower. Similar the one at the entrance. What a shame. This could have been a nice resort. So this is a shower. <laughs> Outdoor shower. I don't go on this toilet. <laughs> Yin? So here are at least 20 bungalows that are not used. What a shame. And here's the exit. <laughs> 